this is Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from beautiful Florida. And today our question comes to us from Reverend Citrine. And Reverend Citrine asks, If I favor a layout for my altar that is drastically different from those given in your books, will it still work for me? And let me say first that in answering this question, I feel that the answer has relevance far beyond just my books, but would apply to any books that give particular instructions for altars. I would say it would be the same answer across the board. Reverend Citrine references my books because she has studied through them and is familiar with them. But there are many books out there that talk about how to build an altar, and the answer to this question would be relevant no matter what book you have used. And the first thing that I would say to this is that we have to consider what an altar is. And an altar is a place of focus. It can be a place of focus for worship, it can be a place of focus for meditation, it can be a place of focus for magic. But what it always is, and the only thing it always is, is a place of focus. And it can be as simple as a clear spot on a table, or it can be very, very elaborate. So in that sense, I would say that even in my books I have pointed out that there is no one way. And that in the end is the answer. There is no one way. I do talk about principles of geomancy in ways that it's common to set up altars, and ways that I think are good to set up altars, and the symbolism that these have, and what would be general in the Corellian tradition. But if you have a way that you feel works better for you, if it actually does work better for you, it certainly is better for you. And you should always be guided by your own inner sense for what is going to be good for you. Whatever helps you to have focus in an altar is what you need. And if your personal symbolism is a little different from the symbolism of other people, there's nothing wrong with that. And there could be many reasons behind it. One of the things we talk about a lot is past life influences. And sometimes you'll find that you'll be drawn to do something in a certain way for reasons you don't necessarily understand, which may turn out to be being pulled through from a past life, and it can be important to follow these and see where they lead. So I would never say, for that or for other reasons, that if you're drawn to do your altar in a different way, that you should not do that. Rather, I would say, do what works for you. And in general, that is my advice. What works is what works, and that's the thing that you need to do. Coming back to altars, there are many, many different ways to do them, and all they need to be is a place where you can focus. And I've often said that the true altar is the heart, and the true altar is within you. The external altar is just to help you to have that focus in the external world. And how you set it up really is not that important compared to that you set it up. And it's more important that you engage in worship, in meditation, in magic, etc., than the exact layout that you use. The layout is really only window dressing. It's the same with ritual. There are principles of working with energy that are what they are, but when it comes to wordings and symbolisms and so forth, they're window dressing to help us to access the development, direction, and raising of energy. And it doesn't necessarily matter what exactly you're using as long as it's working properly. And that, in the end, again, is your real question. So, if you favor an altar setup that's very different from ones I've described, there's nothing wrong with that in the world. And I'll also point out that in my books I do point out that there are many, many different ways to do this. And the simplest, again, is just a clear spot somewhere. And the most complex can be an entire room. It's entirely up to you in terms of what you want, in terms of what works for you, and in terms of what you have access to. So, those will be my thoughts on the matter. I hope you find them helpful, and until next time, may you blessed be. Pray for peace. Pray for love. Pray for stability. Pray for the nation where you live. Pray for the world. Hello! This is Reverend Don Lewis, coming to you from witchschool.com. Are you looking for the best in pagan and magical education? With more than 12,000 pages, witchschool.com is like having your own personal library with individual learning assistants to help you study. And Witchschool's Anyone, Anytime, Anywhere education system is available any place on Earth, anywhere you are and anytime you want it, as long as you have an internet connection. Witchschool's lifetime memberships are a great value. They really do last a lifetime. They've been there for years, and they'll be there for years to come.
So get your membership today at witchschool.com.